Good morning friends. Myself Dr. Deepak Khurana. I am a pediatric orthopedic surgeon and attached to Babylon Hospital. Today we will talk about the most common presenting complaint of parents which I see in my OPD. Uh, basically, the parents present karte hain, wo ye ke ke present karte hain ki hamare bachche ke paon tede hain. So, this is the most common complaint which we generally see. So, what does this paon tede hona means? It means when a child starts walking at the age of one, so it's a most common observation which parents do is like the child is not walking properly or he's having a broad based gait. So first and foremost, what I want to explain to you people is this is the condition which is present in almost all the kids and it is totally normal. There is nothing to panicking panic about the particular condition. This is known as Boeing. So you can understand that Boeing, the condition, the term is taken from Tir Kaman or Dhanush, which has a certain bow, which archers use. So this particular condition in which the child's lower limb tends to bow and both the knee appears to get outwards and both the ankles tends to appear inwards. It's a condition which is known as physiological bowing. It has some pathological association, but the first diagnosis which we make is it's a physiological bowing and this particular bowing will remain in that particular child up till the age of two, two and a half years. After two, two and a half years, this bowing will start remodeling and the child will attain the neutral alignment of the lower limb. And after that, by the age of three to six years, these lower limbs will tend to go in outward direction, which we say knocking. Knocking, you can understand the term. Uh, it means the both the knees are knocking against each other. Both the knees are coming inwards and the ankles are going outwards. This is also a physiological variation which increases further up till the age of six. And after that, by the age of six to eight, the child will attain a normal adult angle of six degrees of valgus. So anything the child's age when uh, his particular alignment is falling in these particular range, then it is said to be in a normal physiological variation. But whenever a child is having bowing, even after the age of two, two and a half years or three years, or the bowing is there more pronouncedly in one side rather than other side or is progressively increasing in a duration of six months to one year, then it amounts some investigation. Same is with knock knees. If a child is presenting with severe knock knees after the age of six, seven years, it needs further evaluation to diagnose and treat the child. So um, now what are the most common causes of these particular pathological bowing and knocking? So one of the most common condition is vitamin D deficiency, which is known as rickets. It can happen because of nutritional deficiency or also has some familial predispositions. It can also happen because of some renal issues. So all that amounts for a pediatric endocrinologist to diagnose and treat. But these child, these children generally have some remaining orthopedic lower limb deformities which needs further management. So knocking especially, uh, when an adolescent present with knock knee, especially if it is a boy, then generally they present during their second growth spurt at the age around 11, 12. In girls, they generally present with knocking during their second growth spurt just after or just before their menstrual uh, menstruation so it is generally about the age of 9 to 10 years so at this age if we see the child at these ages so it means that they have certain growth remaining so if we catch these patients at the, this particular age so the treatment of these particular deformities can be possible with a very small incision minimally invasive surgery which is known as guided growth so guided growth is the term itself explained. We 
when because of that growth potential we guide the growth of the lower limb in such a way we correct those deformities without cutting the bone so it is a very minimally invasive surgery and uh, even like after surgery uh, the child doesn't require any plaster or any sort of rest he can join the school the next day he also can resume his sports activity after 10 15 days so uh, it is very important to identify these kids at an early age so that a uh, minimally invasive meticulous treatment can be given if by any chance uh, we miss these cases at an early age and they have completed their growth so after skeletal maturity if deformity persist then the treatment remain is cutting the bone and getting it right and fixing it with big plates so these are very big reconstructive procedures which require further immobilization and it will need some uh, gap from the school also a month or two so that's why it's very important to identify these knock knees adolescent at early age so that we can treat them early and uh, for further information you can contact babylon hospitals website you can take my appointment for further information thank you